Okay, so we worked with hiding and unhiding items from your Moodle page. The next thing we want to do is be able to know what all the other little icons mean. Again, if you hover over one of them and stay still for a little bit, it should tell you what it is. Edit title, move right, move, update, duplicate, delete, hide, and assign roles. So let's start what those icons do. Let's look at the other ones. High topic, highlight this topic, ask current topic. So take a few seconds and do that yourself. Just hover over them and read what they do. And maybe hover over other things we haven't hovered over yet. So hover over this card, for example. What does it say? Edit summary. Move section one. So I think by just reading them and thinking a little bit of what they do, you'll get most of what I'm going to try to tell you in the next minute and a half or so. Um, one of the best things about moving things is that sometimes a resource is in the wrong week. You can just grab it and drop it. This grab and drop function, or and even change the order to with drag and drop, didn't exist before. It's a brand new Moodle feature, um, and it's very, very helpful. You can even move whole blocks. If you think of a block as a week, it gives you an idea of what you can do with them. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to update or change the settings in one of them. And changing settings or updating happens a lot. For example, let's say you give a quiz and you want to change the dates of it. Um, you'll have to go in here and change them. Or you're showing what you don't want to show students yet. You don't want them to know the right answer till the end of the week. Well, you can go ahead and change that. You want to change the title of it. Well, there is an edit title button now, but you can change the title also through update. You can add new restrictions, including your permissions. I open an item only for a group. So what it allows you to do is pretty extensive. It's always important to look at our options when you click on an update or the cog. It used to be a hammer. And just carefully read what all the options are. In this case, we're editing the title, topic one. Why would we want to edit a title? Well, you can create Moodle in various ways. You can tell them to create one whole discussion session. You can tell them to go by the weekly calendar and match that calendar to the activities calendar. Or you can tell it that I'll have topics and I'll rename the topic title however I want to. That may include even the weekly calendar. But then it's a customized or manually entered weekly calendar. So in this case, let's name the first topic human rights. And then we want to add a table of contents. You'll notice that you have a week sig editor. Question mark will tell you a little bit of what it does. But in this week sig editor, it's basically similar to working with Word. So basically just select what you want to talk about, say international law, future of human rights, human rights in Minnesota, history of human rights. Okay, so we have those four headings for this topic. Let's say we want to hyperlink one of them. Well, you have a hyperlink ad ed editor right there. So then we'll just type human rights international law and copy and paste the link you find. Great, we just hyperlinked that word. But, but when you, you have a WixSig editor, it's not really limited only to hyperlinks, tables, um, just lists, indenting, all of that. But it also allows you to add images. Let's add an image. Find your computer. Choose the file. Once you choose the file, upload. Then you can add an image description. Can change the size of it. And go ahead and insert. This image is still too large, so I'm going to go ahead and change the size of it even further. 300. Great. Let's save the changes. There's much more you can do there. Again, I'm only going to show you a basic overview of what you can do, but that's kind of what you can do with a label. So before I go over the other icons, try adding or modifying the top label yourself. Again, remember, click on the cog, 
and then at a table of contents you want add and modify anything that you feel you can through the editor including if you look at the left at the, t at the right corner you see a button that says HTML if you press that button you'll be able to enter an HTML editor yes you can add any HTML code you want to as well